This is just going to be a nice quick review to tell you that I liked the book because I really did. It was really fun. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be doing a review about a book and it's going to be about The Crowd by Elise Baltz. Elise was kind enough to contact me and send me a copy of her book for a review. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. The first thing you'll want to know about this book is that it's a book about a boarding school and a cute little romance in it, which was a winner for me. I do believe it's a series of three books, so a trilogy, what have you. Unfortunately, you can't buy it in stores unless you can in other stores, but you can't at my bookstore. When she sent me an email about what the book was about, I was sold the second I read the synopsis about it. I was like, send me that book. I want to read it. I want to fall in love with it. If you're looking for a quick, fast read, this is the book for you. It's only 250 something pages long, so you're just gonna, you know, fly right through it. So this is gonna be a spoiler free review so you can watch the entire video without being scared of knowing what's gonna happen if you're interested in reading this book. So just Keep watching. There's no reason for you to leave, okay? So the book is about a girl named Ella. Ella has always wanted to go to her dream boarding school and she gets in and it's the best day of her life. Everything seems to be going perfectly until she finds out that the school has this clique called the crowd and they're based off of rich kids. They're all really rich and they can get away with pretty much anything. They can do anything and the professors won't give them demerits and they, they just, they never get in trouble because they're rich and they can do whatever they want and they suck. Ella also has a friend called Lucas and he's really nice and he's really funny and he calls her a songbird because she can really sing really, really, really well because her dad was in a band. So it's like, it's genetic, she has to be a good singer. Her dad was awesome. I love this book, it was so fun. I gave it four out of five stars. There was just something really fun about a boarding school um, scenario. I haven't read about a boarding school in a really long time. Well, actually that's not true. I read about it in Vampire Academy. <laughs> it was a really fun, light, fluffy read. The characters were really fun. I really enjoyed Ella and her friends. Uh, they were called um, Jayla and Mitch. They kind of like support her in the school of the crowd who rule everything. Jackson Montgomery was also really, really fun. Really enjoyed him. He has this southern accent which makes him really cute. One thing that I really liked about the story is that it has this very specific um, friendship based, bullying based um, theme about it because the crowd is a big bully. They're all bullies, every single one of them, and they make fun of every single student in the school and all the other students participate in this making fun of this one person because they don't want to be singled out and be made fun of. So it's a very vicious cycle until Ella does something about it and it's really fun and it's really cute and I really enjoyed it. I'm really excited to see where it goes because the ending, it was a very good ending, but it was kind of like left you wanting more. Like you're like, what's gonna happen in the next book? Is it gonna be fun? It's gonna be fun because the next book is called The Journey. So well, it's better than a journey, right? You can purchase the crowd online on Amazon. There are so many Eleanor Roosevelt quotes in this book and I loved it. I love her quotes, they're so like, I don't know, inspiring. They make you want to go out and be a better person. So every time like a new quote came up, I was like, oh, I loved it. So I went and Googled Eleanor Roosevelt and they said that she was the longest reigning first lady, I believe. I might be completely wrong. I'm not an American, so I don't know my American history that well, but I believe that's what I read. Basically, all you need to know is that it's about a boarding school, a girl who can't sing really well, there's bullies, there's um, a little teeny tiny love triangle happen in there and I love my love triangles. They're like my favorite trope ever. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book. I haven't really heard about anybody else who's read it so I would love to know if you've read it and if you enjoyed it because I certainly did. It was so cute and I'm really excited to see where the next ones go. So that's gonna be it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read the book down in the comments below and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!